Here back in my uh, yard. It's raining really hard. So I think I'm gonna maybe strip out some computers here with the cut in the way. extra lights on but uh, they're saying um, heavy rain atmospheric river again but uh, I'm not sure about how what the flooding is gonna be like it's hard to say Cold and damp. It's like some kind of torques here. So I have to process these from now on 100% so that uh, I'm not uh, waiting last second I'm trying to process everything in one shot if you know what I mean just a kind of little Bit stripped there a little bit. Bit's probably on borderline. Just getting started here, so my, my most of my tools are kind of scattered right now. But I, I should break these corners off so I can take the heat sink off. Extruded. Those off. I'll just hook on the back up there. So we've got a fan on the back side also.
Yeah, I'm just going to cut them here. Uh, gold plated here. Yeah, these ones are uh, kind of plastic covers. I don't know if they're worth even trying to take out, but uh, we'll pop it out. Just this one here. Get one shell ready. That's the nice thing about computers, it's very easy to strip. They go real fast. I'm going to pop that open there, get my glasses. Okay. So to process this, I gotta take the battery out. There's a battery here. Battery. And there's a heat sink here, aluminum. And then I'll take off this plastic. CPU, get it pinned, yeah, pinned CPU, put it over there for now, so that's a process board, board three, go there, Power supply, I'll just cut it. Right now I got no buyers. Well they told me if I leave the uh the cord on 10 cents a pound. So that's ridiculous, 10 cents a pound. That's a waste of time. Why would I always sell for 10 cents a pound? Since they pay me very little for my wire, I'm not gonna even take those off. There's no gold plated pins in this one, so I'll leave that. Another CD board, four screws. Very tiny board. It fell apart on me. Oh, had a screw in it, huh? First time. First time I see the screw in it. Anyway, this, this is garbage. They're not worth very much nowadays, those ones. But I'll take the brass out. Piece of brass, double check. Brass doesn't stick. Brass spot. This will just go for scrap. They don't even recognize those little mortars, to be honest. No point even uh, separating them. I mean, if they're like easy to get to, but I don't know, the, that one I gotta pry it out and stuff, it's not worth it. Okay, here's uh, a couple computers I got from Scrap Bongo. Well, where do I start? I'm kind of curious on RAM here. It's RAM bus, but uh, this could be a newer computer. I'm hoping they're maybe usable. Let's see if I can see what they are. Come on, stupid thing, it should work. Anyways, I won't show you my password, but uh, we'll check on it in a minute. 
supposed to, you know, automatically do your password, but anyways. Yeah, so where do you start on this thing? I'll tell you. Oh, just a little lever here or something. Wow, I never seen one like that yet. First one I seen that had a quick release on the actual transformer or the power supply. Wow, this is like a spiderweb maze. buses over here for now so they don't get damaged because it may, may be uh, usable depends how big they are I mean this could have been a modern computer I don't, I don't personally know but uh, the CPU is gone some pop CPU out that's weird Oh, unless it's a dual CPU, maybe it's a server, I'm not sure. Spider-Man web ways, uh, spider web maze here, I'll tell you. Okay, well, all this weird plastic of work. All these ones are gold plated. the hard drives usually plating is pretty good Clips there, they're not really uh, no screws. So, what I'm gonna do is just gonna cut this off here. See, I don't know what the hell this stuff is here. Or how it comes off. I don't know how I want this for.
Stuck it just around the board, which is stupid. Actually, like aluminum face. Hmm. Wow. Not sure what comes off. To me, I don't know. One thing I could do is maybe like that. Steel, I think, is so heavy. Yeah. You Okay, there were only one gig here, so really not worth much these at all. I can leave the power supply together because it's a very heavy power supply and it's kind of neat where the wires detach. I'm going to keep this fan because it's a, not a normal size fan. Maybe there's some sort of resale value. Don't know. And then I'll put the RAM up here. But to one gig, people want like, you know, six and eight and higher. But uh, anyways, uh, like I say, free is free, right? It's a really heavy, it's still like 20 pounds, this thing alone. So I have the other one here. This one's all aluminum. Put a card in there. Zotac GeForce 9600 GT. Oh yeah, there are lots. This is really nice. I keep all these cards as one because this could easily be uh, valuable just as a graphics card for someone who's you know not high-end graphics but you know still pretty decent right hard to say we have to look up the specs I noticed I put this carpet down my ankles aren't feet aren't as sore although my feet get real sore my ankles actually that one of on my back my ankles get sore This just looks like a modern computer too. Put a couple round buses in there. I think these ones would be better. Of course they're DDR2. Can't tell. Um I got a text here, I got a Pick up in a second here, so let's stand by for a second. Okay, that's 800 megahertz. Those uh, round buses. That's a real cool heat sink here. I like that, huh? Not cool. Keep that together just because it's cool. Uh, pinned IC chip. 
So obviously old school. Another card here or something. I'm not really seeing any screws. Get here. No. Right here in the middle. Always check that for stainless. It's got a little, uh, little um, nice little gold plated board in here. Right here. It's like a video thing or something. Nice copper heat sinks here. Look at that. Uh, they could, could be aluminum too, but uh, might be copper. Cool. Copper aluminum, I guess, or something. Different. Get the battery off. Okay, so there's another one here. Might be copper, but put quite a bit of weight to it actually. It's aluminum. It's coated. Well, it smells like sulfur. That thing. Pure, pure sulfur smell. Okay, the rest is pretty straightforward. DVD player, I'll pop that out, put the fan out, and that's and this one's ready. Uh, this is uh, aluminum, but the steel kind of steel mixed in here. I I'm not sure if I can strip it all completely. I'll try. Got a nice set of wheels in the bottom, kind of cool. I'll see. I'll try to strip what I can here, and I'll see if I can clean up a bit at least. Anyways, okay. There's a few spots here that have to be taken out. like reinforcing A lot of hidden little spots are gonna come out. Not bad. I might have to come. Not sure how that's held. Couple things gotta come out. 
I'm going to be able to use a screwdriver. Results. Almost here. I see a locking button or something. Cutlass. I think I'm going to have it. Let's say it's stripped. I'm going to wait in a second too. Just a curiosity. Okay, uh, I got also um, a couple fans out there. I'm gonna just uh, keep the fans for now. Fans are kind of ideal. And then I'm gonna keep these too. These are kind of cool. Okay. okay, it's all stripped out. What's the weight on it? Six and a half pounds. 
Uh, I'm keeping this. That's just something cool for now. It's got fans on there, so I may like it. So just over a pound for that. Keeping these two fans. Oh, well, people seem to think they sell, I don't know, but uh, I'm just going to keep these for now because they're kind of cool. Who knows what I'll use it for. Just over a just over a pound pound and a quarter. Okay, so not bad. Six and a half pounds aluminum, which is pretty good. This is all my clean. It's all clean, okay. okay. Another computer here, remove a hard drive. So hard drives I just hold on to for now. Just leave them the way they are. Oh, good. Got a card here. Nice. No, no RAM, but that's okay. This is just plastic. Sometimes these could be brass. This but brass inserts. Someone said I should save the inserts. As you can see, there's an insert here. See if I, if I put the screw in. It's depends how much you want to do. See, like this. Pull the insert out. And then you have your brass. Is it worth worth it for a little piece of brass? I don't know. Some of you, some of you might say it is, but to me, I got limited. What am I going to do? Because I got so much uh, material to strip. There's another uh, EV EV something. I don't know. Nice looking board. There's some mighty waste sitting here. Some of these supply, power supplies could be worth money, I don't know. Just don't know. It's really hard to work in here. or something hmm. it looks impressive but I don't know hmm. 
know how we got some of those cables in here. MSI sleeve. Pin CPU. Battery here. Extruded. Well, it's she got a copper, copper band in there. Piece of copper. So I guess that one looks ready. back on Maybe the wrong way I don't know three second roll doesn't fit Let's do it somewhere else It's actually got brass, brass risers here. I'm just going to pop them off for the hell of it, but... Okay, let me get the riser off and I'm going to clean this up and I'll show you the next computer. So the rest of the strip is the next one here. I got a Dell here. 
figure how to how to trip these in a while. Problems they all they're all different. Like it seems like no two are the same. Every time you do something, it's like they're all different. See somebody here is probably saying, "Hey, push that, push that." Oh, nice heat sink here. It's a copper rad. That's nice. It's good value. A couple ram sticks. Ram sticks. Plating here. Little card here. Video card. Graphics card. Some of these you gotta you gotta click them moving back and forth a little bit, but it's pretty tight here. I'm hearing kind of like uh, almost like explosion type like rumbles. You know, you think it would be uh, like a blasting rumbles, if you know what I mean. So where's the screws here? Must be this thing here. It's the simplest thing, you know. If you're not paying attention. No hard drive, no DVD drive. Well, there was a little DVD drive, but no, no hard drive. Okay, it's ready. Extruded. The only thing that's left is a fan. Yeah, that one's pretty simple, not much left in there. Take apart this. Problem with this one, you need uh, little screwdrivers. I'm gonna have them handy here.
case is aluminum. Let's see if I can just pry it open. No CD in it. That's the problem with this. I don't strip these right away because you need a little screwdriver for this. Nothing on it. DDR. Well, aluminum is the wrong pile. Board is here. Well, it's a nice chip there, actually. A couple chips there. Not bad. Kind of little little screws here. Okay. This is your... Okay, you seen it? That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I scrapped a variation of different computers just to show you what you know the ranges of what's in there. But just in case you know, I mean, I, I don't personally know how to take them take them apart. Some I do, some I don't, because they change. Every computer is different. It seems like there's so many styles, shapes, forms. Some click in, some snap out. Some have rivets. Some have uh, torques. Phillips. Endless amount of different uh, patterns and screws, and every heat sink seems pretty well different. Power supplies seem different. Every time they came with a new, maybe a new speed, a new brand, they had their own, uh, own stuff, own in-house type stuff. So anyways, uh, that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.